This tutorial will talk about uh, going above and beyond and being able to really incorporate a lot of creativity into each individual square and experimenting with some different ideas. Um, now the trick though with this is to make sure that it still is consistent and still all ties together. Um, so I'm going to go through a couple different techniques. However, for each individual square, I would definitely recommend um, trying to pick maybe two or three different techniques that you'll use instead of doing each individual square as a completely different style. Um, because if you're doing each square as a different style, that's really going to uh, take away from everything and be a bit distracting. So definitely try to um, choose just one or two different uh, techniques to follow. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just go quickly back over the drop shadow because that's where we're going to be uh, choosing some different effects from. So if you double click on your picture layer off to the side, uh, this setting comes up and we already looked at drop shadow. So that's the one at the bottom. If you click this, um, you can adjust the angle and the direction of it. So as long as this uh, little preview button or box is checked, you can see what's going on with your picture. Um, so that's the first one is the drop shadow. Um, what I would do is just kind of click through a couple of these different options to see what they will do for you. So you have um, this outer glow that almost acts as a little outline. Um, just keep kind of clicking through these, see if anything will do something interesting for your images. Um, it could be kind of cool to make each picture um, a different value. So maybe I'll leave this one kind of dark and then do another one a little bit lighter. Um, so I'm going to leave it so I have that outer glow stroke and drop shadow on this one and hit OK. Um, the next thing you can think about is maybe making some pictures um, black and white while others are completely in color. So this image here, if I wanted to make it um, partially in black and white, I would go up to image, adjustments, and then hue and saturation. I can take the saturation down so it's faded a little bit. Something else that would be uh, kind of interesting to experiment with is the blending modes. If you go to where it says normal here, you can adjust different blending modes, so the way that the pictures blend together, um, just like the textures, and see if there's anything interesting you can do with these. So maybe changing um, a couple of them to multiply to give an interesting effect where you can kind of see through the pictures. So uh, that's one thing you can experiment with. Maybe try some of these other overlays and see if any of them do uh, something that you really like. But again, I would definitely try to repeat some of um, the overlays that you use through a couple different images, uh, just instead of using too much. So you, again, you don't want too much going on in your picture. So at the same time, try and keep it simple and maybe just um, do a little bit of these different edits. Again, experiment with um, border or stroke around your images. Another idea could be to um, outline certain areas. So maybe you want to outline around your flowers. So using your paintbrush tool um, and adding a new layer, just in case you decide to delete it, um, outlining certain areas. So maybe I could outline where um, that orange value is, where my flowers are overlapping, just to give it an interesting uh, kind of texture. Then you could keep going and outlining more details um, and maybe outline other layers as well. So I could maybe jump over here and start outlining this flower. So that could be something interesting. I think images that are like this one though, that already have a lot of detail, are images that you want to kind of stay away from doing too much with. Um, but if you had a more simple composition, so maybe a really up close portrait, and you wanted to color in the iris of the eye a different color, um, that would definitely be something that you could experiment with. Another idea with this paintbrush is maybe doing a light overlay. So maybe I want um, some, of, some of my petals to have more of a blue color. So I could take my opacity down and uh, choose a bigger brush size here and start filling in or going over some areas of my flower with blue. Um, and again, this typically would work with a different composition. Again, maybe an up close portrait and you're changing the color of the eye or the shirt or something like that. Um, and maybe in every picture you could try a different color. Uh, but be creative, try out a couple different things, especially if you're working on your practice image, and see what you like and what works best. Um, there's a lot more you can do with this, so maybe try Googling ideas or ask me if you want some um, additional help if you have something specific in mind. Uh, but go ahead and continue just experimenting and trying out some different techniques.